Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. Doing a little bit of nighttime shooting here, so hopefully the light comes out good and you guys can see what's going on. But I got a quick Tech Tuesday video for you guys. Uh, last week I showed you guys the uh, the brake pedals and the rudder pedals and how that stuff works. So I figured this week I'll show you guys the actual brakes and the wheel assemblies themselves and let you guys see what it looks like on the outside of the airplane. So let's get you in here and have a look. All right, so from the rear of the airplane, we'll come up to the uh, wheel assemblies here. Here is the, uh, the brake and wheel assemblies. Obviously we got four main uh, tires, two on each side. And right in here, these are the brakes on each side. We got five pistons per wheel. So a total of 20 pistons on the airplane, putting brake pressure on. Uh, up to 3000 PSI of pressure can be applied to that, but if you do that, you'll lock them up real quick. That anti-skid system would be working overtime. Those brakes are extremely expensive to replace, so we don't use them too much. Uh, I can't remember the latest number, but something uh, like forty or fifty thousand dollars per wheel to change those brakes. So we try and avoid using them when we can. These tires, we get uh, a good amount of landings out of them. Um, they run somewhere around one hundred and seventy psi of nitrogen inside those tires, and uh, so yeah, we don't want to be anywhere near them when they when they get filled up, because if they do rupture, it will damage somebody. Uh, the brakes on this airplane can get very hot, up to about 600 degrees, sometimes even more, on a really uh, hard, short field landing where you have to really bind down on them. So uh, when that happens, we have to really be careful not to overpressurize the uh, the tires. If you uh, if you blow what's called fuse plugs, these tires will deflate themselves to, to prevent any serious damage. But uh, but yeah, this is the brake system. Let me walk around the front of the. Uh, the tire here, show you guys from the front end. Trailing link gear system here. That's what makes it a real nice soft landing for the most part on these G4 airplanes and, and all Gulf Streams for that matter. There's the uh, actuator that brings the gear up and down into the well. We got one fairing out here that stays down when the gear is down. Over here on the inside, this fairing will open up down. That allows the, uh, the gear to go up inside and then it recloses. I'll show you guys up inside there here. Take a look. Whole lot of uh, hydraulic lines, electrical stuff up in there. These are the up locks right here. That's what actually holds the gear up when it does get retracted. So that's gear uh, on the uh, Gulfstream G4 here. Pretty uh, simple system, works well. We do have anti-skid, like I said, works very well. If you don't have anti-skid working on a landing, it actually like doubles the landing distance required for this airplane. So if we, if we don't have anti-skid available, if it's out of operation or some, something like that, we pretty much can't go. You can, but not on most runways. So uh, yeah, we rely heavily on the anti-skid system for this airplane. Works very well. Um, you guys have heard us talk a little bit about the uh, brake-by-wire system versus HMAB. The early G4s used a brake-by-wire system and it's very touchy. Um, a little ways through the G4 uh, production line, they switched to a hydro hydromechanical actuated brakes, I believe is the way it, uh, it stands for, HMAB. And it's much uh, easier to operate. It's not as touchy. The H, the uh, the brake by wire system. If you touch the brakes just a little bit, it really grabs quickly. So it takes a lot of getting used to. The first G4 I ever flew had it, so I got used to it for a long time. And then I switched over to an HMAB airplane, and I got so spoiled with that. Now I'm going back to the uh, brake by wire system, so I'm having to get reacclimated to the the touchy brake systems that they have. So uh, a little getting used to, but uh, I'm getting there. So, so yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little something. Give me the thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I'll get a new tech video out for you guys. I'll try to get one e out each week, but uh, no promises at this point. So I'll do my best. So hopefully you guys liked it. Keep living the corporate pilot life. See you next time.